Today I'm gonna make some healthy peanut butter cookies. If you want to have some cookies but don't want to have too much refined sugar and unhealthy fats, these cookies are for you. Today I'm going to use natural peanut butter to make two different kinds of cookies, a chewy version and a crunchy version. And both of them are super healthy and with no refined sugar. So let's go. Alright, let's start with the chewy cookies. It's super easy to make these cookies and only three ingredients needed. A banana, a third of a cup of unsweetened peanut butter and half cup of rolled oats. As I'm not gonna add any sweetener to these cookies, so the browner of the banana you choose, the sweeter of the cookies become. First to peel the banana. It's a medium-sized banana and I'm breaking them in chunks before mashing them. Using a fork to mash the bananas and keep doing it until they become puree-like. Add the peanut butter. The peanut butter I'm using today is a chia seed peanut butter that I purchased from supermarket. So you can see the texture is quite different with normal peanut butter. But yeah, you can just use the normal peanut butter will be fine. Now mix everything together. Add the road oaks to the peanut butter mixture and mix again until everything well combined. As my peanut butter is a bit dried out, so I have to take longer time to mix them together. But if you're using normal creamy style peanut butter, it will be very easy to mix everything well. Okay, now if you have a scoop, you can use it to scoop out the cookie dough. And directly put them on a parchment paper and make sure all the cookies are around the same size. But I don't have any scoop here, so I'm just using a normal spoon and take out around one and a half tablespoon size of the dough and put them on my hand and slightly roll them until they become a ball shape. Repeat this step for the rest of the dough and you should get around seven to eight cookies. Flatten the cookies with a spoon or you can use your fingers of course. As I want my cookies in a more even and nice shape, so I'm using a spoon to do it. Bake the cookies for around 15 to 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Make sure you have preheated your oven before. Okay, now we start making the crunchy cookies. This time we need four ingredients. A third of a cup of unsweetened peanut butter, half cup of rolled oats, one large egg, and two tablespoons of monk fruit extract. Let's already have an egg in a mixing bowl, so now add the monk fruit extract. This time, no banana to add the sweetness to the cookies, that's why I'm adding some sweetener to it. Add the peanut butter and stir until they become smooth. Then add the oats and mix them very well. Now you can see the dough is very sticky because no banana here to give moisture to the dough, so this time is much more stickier than the previous one. Scoop out one and a half tablespoon portion size again, roll them to make around six to seven cookie balls, and put them on a parchment paper after that. Flatten the cookie balls with a spoon. As the dough is very sticky this time, so you have to take a bit longer time to do it. Yeah, just be patient. Now the cookies are ready to bake. Again, 15 to 20 minutes, 350 Fahrenheit. See how pretty are these cookies and let's have a taste test. Okay, these are the two kinds of peanut butter cookies. This one with banana. 
is a little bit crunchy outside and very chewy inside and have a very significant flavors of banana together with peanut butter so it's a really interesting combination and this one without the banana just tastes so much like the normal cookies it's very crunchy and the taste of the peanut butter is very strong it's hard to say which one is better because you know i like both of them and it all depends on how you like your cookies so no matter you choose the chewy version or the crunchy version it's up to you okay thanks for watching today and i'll see you next time